Good morning, everybody, friends. Happy Monday morning. I thought if you were listening to the success cast, you would be interested in a great technique you can apply this week, whether you're on your job search or at work, to make yourself more successful. As you might recall, the theme of our success cast, uh, the mission, is that we would like everyone who listens to the success cast to be more successful than anyone who does not. Again, any one of you who is listening, that means, already has a leg up on the roughly 6 billion people who are not listening to this. So, you are taking great steps, and congratulations. We uh, review a lot of success hacks that people send us, and a lot of them aren't very good. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use them. If you can actually get many of these working in your life, great. But one in particular really stuck out to us, and you'll, with all these, be surprised at how good and how powerful this can be. Um, again, we have a framework for what we consider to be a very successful success hack, and this is if they fit three criteria, that they'll provide compounding benefits, diffuse benefits, and be easy to implement. And this one <laughs> could not be much easier. Next time somebody comes up to you and asks you something where you don't know the answer, instead of saying, I don't know, say, I'll find out. Again, uh, welcome to SSG Slack. We uh, are discussing a very simple success hack that you can implement with no effort, which is next time somebody says to you, uh, asks you a question that you don't know the answer to, instead of saying, I don't know, just say, I'll find out. So, of course, it seems uh, great, but dig into it a lot more and you realize how incredibly strong and powerful this is on this framework, because it's going to provide compounding benefits for you. A compounding benefit, or uh, what's sometimes referred to as a uh, convex benefit, is where the longer you implement this, the more powerful it becomes. And if you are at work and people start asking you the you know, very tough questions in the office, and you become the person who says, I'll find out, what you've done is instead of becoming the choke point for your network, you become a critical path. All of a sudden, if it's uh, GDPR compliance or... Um, you know, perhaps a new programming framework in a few hours, in a few days, when they bump into this friction point again, instead of thinking, oh, Garrett's not going to be very helpful, they're going to come right to you and ask you this. So you've just inserted yourself as a critical node in the network, and the longer you do it, the more of a central place you will have within the office. So I would say definitely, simply saying I'll find out creates these convex or compounding benefits. And diffuse benefits as well, because in addition to the upside where you've inserted yourself as this critical node in the network, it's also very likely that you're going to start becoming the expert on these subjects. If you say you're going to research GDPR compliance and then you take 10 seconds to do it, you've just learned a critical skill which will probably transfer from this job to the next job to the job after that. So I consider this as having multiple paths to success for you. So even if you don't take any more effort and you don't actually do the research you say you're going to, which you will, but uh, we'll get to that in a second, if you take a few seconds to, if you take no time and don't research it, you've already at least established a positive frame. You've inserted yourself within the office network in this great way. But if you actually do research it, you get important knowledge. And finally, when I say that this is easy to implement. This is some place a lot of success hacks fall down on. If they're very complex to implement, you're never going to do it. But what's easier than swapping three words for a different three words? Could not be any easier. But even better than that, you have essentially paved the field to make it easy for you to actually do the research. And this gets back to something we talk a lot about here, which is the Cialdini Principles of Influence. Um, the seminal work, uh, The Elements of Persuasion, Cialdini identified, identified six elements to persuasion. And the first principle on this list is consistency. And you're essentially using this principle on yourself. By publicly asserting, I'll find out, you've created intense social pressure to actually find out. So if you've just said, I don't know, then you go back to your desk, there's not a lot of chance you're going to take the mental push to go on and research GDPR, the new programming framework. But as soon as you say, I'll find out, you've established all this pressure to actually do it. And guess what? It only takes five, maybe 10 minutes to read a Wikipedia article on it. 
that's time you probably would have spent, you know, reading the news or checking Facebook. And instead, you've wired yourself to actually follow through and become the expert on a very important subject. So you've essentially hacked yourself to be more successful at the office. Um, this can also apply, for example, uh, we mentioned on the job hunt. If an interviewer asks you a question in the interview and you don't know the answer, just say, I'll find out. And then as soon as you get out of the interview, take the five minutes, take the 10 minutes, research it, and include the information in your follow-up note. This gives you a great excuse to get back in touch with people you've interviewed with. So again, you see as we start to do more and more of these success hacks, how these are just really simple concepts that you can apply to any facet of your life to guarantee yourself success. So uh, if you would like to read more of these, the uh, blog post linked here, at the bottom there's a link to our comprehensive list of these success hacks. We're gonna keep adding these as time goes on. Um, additionally, this Wednesday, uh, we are planning to interview MIT professor Ed Roberts, the founder of the entrepreneurship discipline at MIT. He essentially, back in the day when there was no such thing as teaching entrepreneurship, created a curriculum around it. So uh, assuming the interview goes through without any technical issues, look for that on Wednesday. We're going to be talking to him about success hacks that he's picked up from having talked with and invested in and worked with many great startup founders, um, many of whom have been successful and even more of whom have not, which from which you can learn even greater lessons. So uh, it's going to be a very fascinating interview, so make sure to stay tuned on Wednesday. But for now, this is just a simple principle you can apply here Monday. Get your week off on the right front. Thank you, everybody, for listening, and we will chat with you later.